Hey y'all, I'm back with the Traveler's Notebook Process video, and this one is using product from my stash along with several things from Feed Your Craft, and I will link those down below, or I'll link the shop down below. So I'm starting with uh, my book. I think this one is from, I believe this one is from um, Michaels, if I can remember correctly. And uh, I found some paper, also some scrap paper from the scrap bin. That's what I'm doing right now. But the paper on the left is, I believe it's a crepe paper um, collection called Oasis. And so I use that because I love wood grain. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably know that. And right now I'm looking for something to kind of back my photo. And I really want to um, kind of bring out these colors in the Feed Your Craft um, Grow Wild. I think it's the Grow Wild. Maybe it's not. I don't think it is. It's not the Grow Wild kit. It's the kit that Brandy Kid Cade came out with, I think, back in March, I believe, and um, for Feed Your Craft. And it has some beautiful colors and it has this kind of almost peachy red tone and I decided to use that and kind of go along with that color scheme if that makes sense and I'll add pops of color here and there too. Um, so I have this bin full of Feed Your Craft uh, ephemera and their ephemera is so inexpensive. I um, just love how much you get. I love how simple it is. Um, I can use this all day long on my project life and in my traveler's notebook spread. So that is one of the reasons why I uh, purchased a couple of things from the past kits. So um, right now I'm kind of trying to figure out what do I want to do for my title. That's always kind of the one thing that I, I don't want to say struggle with, but kind of is always a challenge is am I going to use, or am I going to use stamps or am I going to use like stickers or something like that. And so um, at this point I want to get my title down because I don't want to like continue to decorate and embellish without having that done. Um, I thought about stamping right on top of that little ledger paper ephemera. It's uh, fairly small, so I couldn't get the full fairy garden um, like phrase on there. And so what I decided to do was kind of look through some old uh, Project Life cards. Or not old. I think they came from... Oh, actually, these are from Project Life. Um, not Project Life. Studio Calico. And... Um, I decided to look through those because I had several that I, I've organized mine now to where I have, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this, but I used my tab punch to organize my cards. And so I have a green section. And so I just looked for some green um, cards and I pulled the one that said grow, 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 which I thought would be perfect for um, kind of layering on that left hand side. And then um, the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, am I going to... I don't know if I'm going to stamp on that, am I? I guess so. Oh, I think I decided to go ahead and use that um, because I knew that I could kind of um, like offset each letter. And then I think what I was concerned about was getting garden on there. And so what I decided to do was um, use a different stamp set. So that stamp set I just use is the marker alphabet stamp set from Feed Your Craft. And again, I'll link the shop down below. And then um, the this skinny kind of tall narrow I guess I just described it like the same way in three different ways but anyway um this narrow alphabet stamp set is also from Feed Your Craft and I felt like that kind of number one it kind of gave it contrast from the letters above and then two I, it fit so that was kind of the biggest thing um I went ahead and stamped that out and I felt like that was that turned out okay and then now I'm just kind of looking through some of my stickers. I've also organized all of my like smaller alphas, my stickers, my mini alphas, um, my puffy stickers, and I have them sitting next to me so that I can just grab them. And I have tabs separating them, which makes it so easy. So I'm really in love with my tab punch board. I think I raved about it like in my April favorites. And then I also posted several times about it. So follow me on Instagram at Ashley underscore Laura underscore scraps if you're not already. Um, I try to post a mixture of planner and uh, scrapbooking stuff. So uh, follow me there. And so I layered up that, um, oh, I think my light went off. And so that's why I had to kind of, it, that's why it kind of flashed real quick. But anyway, um, you saw me pull out my punch. What I did was I took one of the pieces of ephemera and I just cut it down or I punched it down so that it would be a smaller size um, so that it would nest really well with one of the other circular pieces of ephemera. So I just made it smaller and that turned out a lot better. 
Um, at this point, I'm trying, I'm testing out some ink because I really want to write, use this uh, stamp that says home. And I decided to go with kind of this uh, aqua mint color, which I felt went well with the photo and that uh, card on the left hand side. And then now I'm going to pull some Studio Calico stickers that I got in one of the kits, probably April. Um, maybe it was April. Yeah. And these are some strips of stickers, which I love strips of stickers. I love them in the planner world and I love them in the Project Life and Traveler's Notebook world too. And so I'm going to layer those up just to have something there at the top. And then one thing I decided, um, to do was, am I going to layer that again? No. One thing I decided to do was grab these clouds and, um, add both. And I love that they had two different sizes that worked out, two different sizes that worked out perfect. And then I think, if I'm not mistaken, the last thing or one of the last things I'm going to do is stamp the date and add that. And I'm pretty sure that sums this up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Let me know if you want to see more like that or what videos are your favorite. I know a lot of you might say DIY embellishment videos. So I do have one coming. I actually uh, gathered some supplies to create a DIY video. I just really need to film it. But I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.